Hi everyone, it's Marcy Denning here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. Welcome to my Facebook Live. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I hope you, uh, I'm just bringing up, I'm hoping you have had a fabulous week so far. How on earth did it get to be Wednesday already? Oh my goodness, I just cannot believe how quickly the time is flying. Um, we are having some unseasonably warm weather right now in southwestern Ontario, and it has been fabulous. Okay, so I am just bringing you up here so that I can see. Um, I am not in my video tonight. I have been working very hard to get my um, spring social um, product projects um, cut and prepped. I have uh, some to be sending out quite far away, so I need to make sure they're in the mail ASAP. So I've been very busy doing that. Um, so actually, my phone and my iPad are literally plugged in so hopefully I do not get uh, tangled up in these wires as I um, am moving about so today hello Heather hello Marie you are working on uh, card kits on this stormy day oh hello Jeannie um, it has been a beautiful day here today it got as high as 17 here in Strathroy Ontario Woohoo! I cannot believe it. On uh, Monday afternoon, I had uh, my kids help me, Danny and Connor. They helped me pull all the patio furniture out. There's still snow on the ground, but that doesn't matter to me. Um, up on our deck, it is beautiful and sunny and warm. Um, thank you for sharing, Jeannie. So tonight, we're going to be creating a card with the... Um, adorable springtime joy stamp set from the mini catalog it's on page 22 and um, we're also pairing it with my new favorite designer series paper the butterfly bijou that is available while supplies last um, and these Heather you're heading to work well have a great evening at work Heather hello Marina Thanks for watching and sharing. I truly do appreciate that. So these are all the bright colors, springtime colors that we're gonna be creating with today. And I've already stamped my images. So let's just scooch you over. I have already stamped my images um, to be colored. So we have the cute little bunny we have the cute little um, lamb, and then look at this little chick with its, it's got attitude, I tell you. <laughs> and then, of course, my butterfly. So, uh, let's get started with, we're using for the, um, some of the flowers in here, the Magenta Madness. So, I thought with all this coloring, I would... Um, pre-stamp so that it dries faster and <clears throat> excuse me we are not here all night long so and I'm not doing any fa fancy coloring I am just um, with my light for the center for the whole flower and then the center actually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come and just trace around doing little circles and I'm leaving the tips um, when I went to the coloring the center I'm just leaving the outside edges that light um, color so that you know how the edges of petals are generally a little lighter so I am just doing that okay and then we're gonna do the exact same thing with the calypso coral if I can get this lid off I put lotion on my hands and they're so slippery there we go 
Working with uh, cardstock, I find dries my hands out like crazy. So uh, I always want to put a little bit of lotion on my hands before I go live so they don't look so dry and gnarly. <laughs> so, um, However, it does affect pulling off the um, marker lids. So this is Calypso Coral and I'm doing the exact same thing. So how is everybody's week going? And then my centers are my dark uh, mango mel melody. So, um, we have, I've had such a busy week so far. Um, I had my team meeting on Monday night as well. And Buffy got her stitches out yesterday morning. She's doing very well. And as soon as, um, the scabbing where her stitches were, as soon as that heals, she's allowed to get groomed. So yay, uh, Miss Maisie gets groomed tomorrow morning. I am out the door very early because her appointment is at 8.30 in the morning. So in London. Okay, so that was the light um, granny apple green. And I am just coming in and where that vein line is in the leaf, I'm just adding just that little bit so that we've got some light and some dark. And then I'm now going to take my light gray granite and I am going to just here and there um, bring in a little bit of the uh, shading kind of line. Even though she's white, she, the, by adding just that little bit, really does make it seem um, like she's a little brighter. Although, uh, I don't think sheep are true white, seeing as they live outside in the pasture and I imagine they get pretty mucky. I know my backyard as the snow is melting is getting really nasty and the uh, girls especially Miss Maisie with all her white fur she's getting pretty uh, when she goes out there. Ay ay ay. She comes in she's gonna have such a haircut tomorrow oh my goodness. She's going to lose a couple pounds, I think. <laughs> all right, so we have come all around, along here and there. Now we're just going to take the color lifter and just here and there. Just soften that line just slightly. Not everywhere. I'm going to leave it heavier in some areas. All right. And then, of course, she's got to have... Hello, Anne. Thank you. Hello, Marianne. Um, she's got to have a cute little pink nose. And then, of course, she's got to have her little... cheeks that are little rosy. And then, because that's so bright for me, I'm gonna come in here and just lighten that slightly. Oh, and I forgot to do her little feet. So let's just bring in. Okay, and now, we are going to take some of the light granny apple green 
And oh, this is the one that the end isn't so great, so let's use the other end. All right, so we're just going to give her a bit of ground that she's sitting on, and then we're going to come in with the dark granny. And just kind of leave that like that. Okay, so then we are going to come in and do this one. Oh, wait, no, I did something else here. I went around the outside. Oh. Here and there. Just to give it a little bit more dimension to coming off that card front and down here she's not fancy colored she's not fussy colored but just a little bit a little bit can go a long way I think that just makes it look like she's coming off that page just that little bit more so now we're going to come in and we are going to color our butterfly it's going to be all in the light and then let's grab my wink of stella there we go we're just going to come in with the dark pool party and just add that little bit there like that. Hello, Carol. Okay, so next we are going to color this adorable little chick that has so much attitude. So she's going to get a dark mango melody. She's going to get her little beak. Is that in the center of that flower? Let's do the center of this flower. Okay, so now she's going to be all light, so saffron. Today is also the last day to sign up for the March Paper Pumpkin Kit. So... If you are wanting that kit, um, you best be getting it ordered right away. Now we're just coming in here with a little bit of dark. Just there so that she's got some shadowing there. Very subtle. All right, and then we're going to do our... Um, flower the exact same as the one in the uh, flower wreath that that adorable little lamb she has the magenta madness is such a bright and vibrant pink it is not for everybody, but I sure do like it. Okay, and then our leaves. Hello, Mary. Thanks for joining. The birds, I've started cracking the window open. Much to Brad's chagrin, he's like, I can hear the critters. I love to hear the critters. And we have uh, a new bird that I've never heard before. Really loud in about 20 after 6 this morning. It was really chirping. My sister Anne has this fun app that she... Um, if she can record it, will kind of translate what that bird is. So hopefully the next time we're, she's up walking, 
um, we can um, hear the bird and identify it. Okay, so this is the Calypso Coral, doing the exact same colors, keeping it flowing. And I'm just adding a little bit there. Hello, Shonda. Thanks for joining. All right, so I just want to, I don't really, I want to keep that um, separation of those two colors, but not quite as stark. So I'm just going to kind of gently go over that. But wow, doesn't that look just so springy? Okay, and now let's do that once again. Let's color this sweet um, little bunny and her flowers that she's sitting beside. Although bunnies are very cute on cards, I don't think they're so cute in my yard. They um, eat my plants. So uh, I like to look at them from afar. So this set here, even though it um, has a lot of Easter sentiments in that, I don't think that it's just strictly for Easter. I think you could use it for a number of occasions. Bunnies and little lambs are just so sweet. I have to be careful here because it's a smaller image. I don't want to be having my ink bleed out. There we go. And then our Calypso. So do any of you guys have this set that's, that are watching? I use this set for Valentine's Day cards for my kids. My adult kids, remember, even though they're uh, adults. It's still fun to give them Valentine's cards. I'm going to be doing some Easter projects for them as well. I'm looking forward to having everybody here for Easter dinner. And I'm planning on uh, making some table decorations, so you'll have to stay tuned to see what I come up with. All right, I can't get the <laughs> I can't get that lid off. Oh my goodness. So we're just carefully going to whoop and I just went out because I'm using the wrong end. All right. And I find that certain colors, I think I've told you before, certain colors bleed more um, than others, I find. There we go. Okay, so now our green for the leaves. And I can't look up for comments while I'm using my blends because I don't want to make a mess. So I will look up in a second. See if anybody has questions or comments. Okay, and then we're going to do the same here. Just some lines to uh, make it look like we've got some ground there. And then I'm just going to just lightly dot 
the granny on the bunny and oh my goodness look at how that is bleeding I'm going to have to wait till that dries to clean it up all right so then our bunny she is the same she is um, light gray granite I think I've told you before that I find the light gray granite um, it's a lighter gray than the uh, smoky slate so it's my gray of choice oh and Marshall is outside the door here whining he's like hey he doesn't like it when I close my office door he loves to uh, come in here and watch the birds I have a bird feeder in my window so you can see and he likes to come in here and sit in the windowsill and um, watch the birds and then he naps on my office chair if I'm not in here okay and now we need some rosy cheeks or pinky cheeks and a little pink nose just so cute all right and then we're going to come and just soften that line it just moves that color is what the um, color lifter does just moves it a bit dilutes it And I am not going over top of that pink, that uh, magenta madness. So we are coming up to a new annual catalog, guys. So exciting. So if you would like a annual catalog from me, I would love it if you would... Um, request it from me. Send me a message. If you have purchased from me in the past... Uh, six months, you're automatically getting a catalog. Um, otherwise, if you want one, um, request one. Our catalog is coming out earlier this year than previous years. It is coming out in May. Isn't that crazy? So that means the retiring list will be coming out soon. And... Um, we're going to be saying goodbye to some stamp sets and dies and punches as well as um, designer series papers and the uh, 2019 to 2021 in colors. I've told you that before. I just want to remind you. I'm going to keep reminding you because it's a new um, format that with coming out in... Um, see if I can't move that a smidge more. With the catalog coming out in May instead of June. So that means I will be sending out my catalogs in um, the end of April. So, if you're wanting a catalog, let me know if you're not already a client customer of mine. So, all right, just about done coloring here. And you can see that big mess that I made, it's starting to get better. Um, so I'm going to let that dry again, and then I'll come back in and uh, use the color lifter again on it. Oh, I did not do the mango on the centers, although they're so tiny. Did I? There. All right. So let's bring in our silicone craft sheet. And... Um, you don't have that set, Carol. 
I love this set. Marie, you have it and you haven't inked it up yet. Oh my goodness, you need to get it inked up. It is so much fun to create with. Okay, so this is four and a quarter by um, 11, and then it's scored at two and three quarters and five and a half. And I'm just bringing that back here. I am always going to buy the cute critter stamp sets. I love them. I find it so easy to create with them. Okay, so here are our layers. So let's move this, bring in my liquid glue, and this is the beautiful Butterfly Bijou, and this is where I chose my colors from. Um, your Magenta Madness, your uh, Calypso Coral, and although I think this is Petal Pink, I'm, you know, this little bit darker, I'm calling it um, Blushing Bride. And the other side is uh, the beautiful Butterflies. So, uh, Choosing your color palette from your designer series paper makes it so easy. Um, if you're struggling with color combinations, just take a look at some of your designer series paper packs and the way that Stampin' Up! has combined those colors. They might be colors that you never would have thought to um, put together. Okay, oh, Buffy was in here and she has left, so she has opened the door. So that means Marshall's now in here. So Marshall the cat may make an appearance on my craft table. He has done it before. Now this is all the thick basic white that I stamped and colored on. You can see how it's um, gone through the back. If I'm going to use my Stampin' Blends, I'm always going to choose the um, Thick Basic White, which is our new um, cardstock, our new white cardstock. I'm always going to choose it because um, the colors move better. It's a heavier weight cardstock, so it, it holds those uh, blends so much better. I think so it's my color my uh, cardstock of choice when I am using my Stampin' Blends and of course all my images were stamped in the um, Memento Tuxedo Black and then the last thing I'm gonna do will be my Wink of Stella I don't want to um, I don't want to smear it you're going to tomorrow oh I hope so if I remember Marie I'll ask you if you're on here watching my live on Friday I'll say Marie did you ink up that stamp set How sweet is that? Does that not just look so um, springy? It just, oh, I love the bright colors with it. Okay, so. And then this is the largest of the stitched um, ovals from the stitched shapes. And then I've paired it with the layering ovals, the scallop looks so sweet together okay so now our card is going to close like this and then when we open it it's going to cover um, cover that just slightly but I'm okay with that so that means that this side here we're not going to go past we're going to go right here just shy of center 
to apply our glue. And then we are going to tuck you here, just like that. Center that, make sure we're up straight. And I'm not liking this here, so let's take and just soften around the outside. Just to help soften those edges. Okay, so then when you, oh, I moved it over so it's perfect now, yay. All right, so you know me, Wink of Stella is my embellishment of choice. My butterfly has got to have some Wink of Stella on it. And then we're going to go just a little here and there on my flowers. And then, of course, the flowers on her head have to have just a smidge and then oh I'm gonna touch that again with my color lifter okay so let's see if we can't move that line back just a smidge more clean that up the trick is to let it dry so that it's not too saturated and come back to it. And I'd say I did a pretty good job there getting that lifted. So let's now, it just takes a little patience. I have no patience for so many other things in my life, but in paper crafting, oh my goodness, I have lots of patience. And let's just add that center there. I'll do the here. Okay. Thank you, uh, Shonda, Jeannie, and Marie. Oh, hello, Melissa. Oh, no, the pressure is on, <laughs> Marie. Oh, yes. So, how sweet is that card? So adorable. So, um, all my stamps are... Excuse the banging here. So, we do have other, um, we've got Welcome Spring, and then Easter is a lovely reminder of new beginnings, and then this adorable Easter basket. So, I haven't used this yet, and uh, that's going to be, um, I'm going to be creating with that next, I believe. But, oh, so sweet. I just love this stamp set so adorable and that butterfly paper um, is fabulous the opposite side take a look at it to pair it with your other um, stamp sets besides um, if you've purchased that butterfly um, bundle it just it looks so great the the patterns in that I just love them all right so that is all for me this evening um, very quick um, card for you a little bit of coloring but really not too awful bad um, yeah and because I I have way more cutting to do um, upstairs <laughs> my house is just a disaster I have my office is a mess I've taken over the dining room I told uh, Brad I promise tomorrow it will be gone I'll get it all cleaned up. So um, after I drop Maisie off, she's going to be a few how hours. So I'll be coming back home um, in the meantime. So uh, I will, uh, I will uh, get finished up and all that kind of stuff. So anyhow, that is it. I hope you really enjoy this card. If you have this stamp set and haven't inked it up yet, please go ink it up. It is too sweet, too cute to just leave uninked. So, yeah. All right. 
that is it for me. I will see you on Friday at 1 p.m. Have a great evening, everybody, and thank you once again for joining me. Bye for now.